The colors used in plotting are a matter of personal preference, but they also sometimes tend to highlight different aspects of the solution. The setting where you can choose what the color scale is going to be is found on the Utilities menu Settings under the Document Properties and Post Processing. Here you can choose between the default color scale, which is from dark red to dark blue with a defined gradient in between, or a custom setting. Uh, this custom setting looks like it will be similar, and in fact it is, but the exact colors will change if we apply this. You can see that the green region is much broader. The way that the custom setting works is according to a hue, saturation, and luminescent way of looking at the colors. Here we see the high value has been chosen as red, and we see the low value has been chosen as blue. And the gradient we're going to get then is the transition between the red here and the blue over here. So if we wanted to define a significantly different gradient, we could move this marker over to here, for example. Our gradient will now span from red going across the hue scale to the pink over here. So when we apply this, you now see red to pink as the transition. So you can experiment with this in order to get the idea more clearly. If we change the high color here over to being a purple, Now we have purple to pink as our transition. You can also experiment with the um, with the darkness of these colors as well. So if we make our pink much darker, then we're now going to transition from purple to black. So you can experiment with these colors in order to um, provide an alternative color scale. You can also experiment with the background in order to see different details potentially showing up in different ways. This color scale applies to any type of colored reference plot that will appear. Within the field analysis results, it will refer to profiles, to contours, and in the case of vector quantities, it will also apply to arrow plots. So if we go back to one of our broader color spectrums, make the top color red again, and the bottom color into a, into a light pink, Now you can see a full spectrum from red to pink through the rainbow here. If we change it so that we make an arrow plot instead, then we will see the same colors. If we make a contour plot, we will also see the same colors. And if instead of it, doing a plot with the field analysis results, if we were to plot streamlines, then we again see the same reference colors on the streamlines as well. So the color scale you choose is a universal scale for how different quantities are represented by color.